All right, here's another update on this antenna switch box project. Uh, I've made some improvements uh, and I've made some additions. So I'll show you where we are with this. Uh, right now we have the keypad somewhat integrated into the screen here. So if I press the uh, left arrow or right arrow, as you can see, is number six has a right arrow, and number four has a left arrow. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to operate this, but for now I just have the right arrow and left arrow attached to these two buttons. And the start button, I've changed the select on port to start on port down on the screen here. So if I actually go press the number six button over here, it's going to move the cursor to the right. And the number four button is moving the cursor to the left. And if I press the start button on where I'm where I'm selected or where I'm highlighted, it will show confirmed, and that will initiate the auto tune hopefully. So yeah, so it'll actually switch the antenna first, and then I'm going to have a delay of maybe a second or two, and then it's going to initiate the uh, the automatic tuner to initiate a tune. So let's see where we are with the circuitry. Um, I mean, like I said, I've made a little bit of progress. I am not done. Um, this is still uh, being worked on and added to, and all that fun stuff. So what I've decided to do was actually mount the Arduino Mega on the circuit board. I just fastened it with some 440 uh, screws. I drilled out the circuit board to accept that. And I've tried to line the board up um, uh, to a point where it wouldn't interfere with this back cover that's going to go here, which is basically the same as the front. Um, what I tried to do was line it up Here's the slot right here, and I'm going to try and line it up to the point where I can just mill out the areas of all the I.O. connections. So it will actually look like um, from the back, you'll only have the USB and the Ethernet and the power adapter plug uh, available on the back. And then there's going to be probably be a couple more connections here for the antenna switches, um, for the you know connection to the antenna switch uh, module outside and probably a couple of other things I don't know if I'm gonna have an audio output audio input um, that is going to be uh, figured out at a later date but what we have here is like I said the Arduino Mega and we have the Ethernet shield and this is a um, uh, what do you call it? a voice synthesizer shield so this is actually going to talk to you and you can actually talk to it if you notice there's a microphone here there's an uh, microphone jack and an audio out jack so that is where the audio is going to be um, that's what I was talking about audio stuff so I might be uh, actually be able to um, take a, the output here and going out to my mixer console and actually have this thing talk responses back to me and I can talk uh, you know dictate uh, um, things to do you know um, what do you call it commands to actually do things so I'm kinda hoping that I can actually command this you know not just through the keypad interface here but actually talk to it maybe have a microphone these are the little surprises I'm putting in this thing. Um, like I said, this thing is going to be fully expandable to whatever I want. I'm going to actually have this microphone. I'm going to actually have a another external microphone. Probably uh, pick up things. Uh, probably another microphone mounted somewhere. And it's going to have an onboard audio amplifier for internal audio, which is actually pretty cool because this case actually has a speaker um uh, baffle cut into the case so I might actually put a little two inch speaker in there so this is gonna be kind of a cool project uh, you know so I can actually sit back in my chair and say uh, you know computer or uh, you know select antenna one and it will just go to antenna one boom start the tune and I don't even have to touch this damn thing um, if I don't want to you know in theory this is this is all just ideas I have in my head so uh, yeah, that's going to be a nice feature if I can make that work. Uh, another feature I'm going to add is infrared, receiving infrared. I actually have a remote control 
uh, any kind of remote control. I'm going to actually be able to train codes from any remote control into this. And I can actually use a remote control, an infrared remote control to do things. So this is going to be a quite a versatile little box. you know. And like I said, I have left plenty of real estate for expansion. Uh, this, I pretty much decided I was going to put the Arduino in the middle because on the Mega, most of your analogs are on the left and most of your digitals on the right and on the back here. So I can have all my analog circuits built over here. I can have all my digital, digital circuits built over here. And it's going to be quite interesting. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to have an audio amplifier. Probably just going to be an LM386IC. Just driving that little speaker just for the audio shield for if I want to use the onboard internal speaker. So that might be kind of neat. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is basically just the wiring I have for now, which is as neat as I can make it for prototype. Uh, you know, I basically have a bunch of headers and I've soldered everything to headers that are stabbed into the Mega and also on the shields that are now stacked. I had to make a couple custom headers adapters here to actually make this work. And it seems to work fine. So, yeah, this is nice. I actually have, uh, this is the keypad input. This is all coming down in here to the digital I.O. header on the back of the Mega. And have that pretty much, uh, basically what I did was I fastened all the wires together here with a, basically like a, you know, a lead to any semiconductor or resistor. You just cut it and kind of bend it over and you can actually kind of fasten your wires to the circuit board that way. And I actually have this power switch here. That's not hooked up to, uh, the contacts aren't hooked up to anything yet, but the actual LED is hooked up to the output of the Arduino so the, I can actually control that like I said I can actually have this blink error codes or, or, or fade on sleep you know you know I can pretty much do anything I want to do with this and everything on this is on a header so if I have to do any maintenance on this thing I can unplug the power up the power switch I can unplug the keypad and I can unplug the LCD screen I want to make this fully, you know, expandable and serviceable to myself. Well, that's where I'm at with this thing. I have, like I said, this thing is just, as I'm building this, this is just brewing multiple ideas. And I don't know what it's going to become. But uh, so far, I'm very happy with, the, with, with how it's come out. And uh, I can't wait to see a finished product. Well, I can't say finished product because I don't know if I'll ever be done with this thing because there is so many things that we could do with this. I mean, we actually have Ethernet. We ha we're going to have IR. We're going to have voice. We're going to have uh, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, it's unlimited what you can do with this stuff. It's, it's So I don't think it's ever going to be done. I think it's always going to be built upon and uh, just expanded like I said that's why all the real estate is here for that so I'm gonna try and keep things as tight as possible in case I you know want to actually expand more circuits on this so that's why as much as it is doing right now it's actually pretty much empty which is a great thing and it's already doing a keypad and an LCD and that's what I wanted so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll keep updates on this as, the, uh, as it gets uh, improved upon. Have a great night.